Okay, he's directly below us. I'm going to be brave. Bravery and stupidity are two sides of the same coin. I am not going to lie. Alrighty, guys. Welcome All back to Subnautica, online. where today I got a plan, and I'm not sure about it. So, what this plan is, is we're going to the Aurora. So, yeah. Also, I don't know if you guys have seen the fish tank. Um, but yeah, that egg I found the other day, it was a brain grab egg. Look at that guy. It's nice. Now, all I would really like is I found out that, yes, they do have eggs. They're weird looking ones as well. We're not going to go get any today, but I'd like to go get some. I might even go make them their own personal ta tank. Like, what is it? I might make another one of these, like another floor. And have like my personal bedroom in one of these tanks in there. Just filled with the, those electric eels, you know? That's what I'd like. Now, do I got any water? No, I don't. Um, but what I need to do here is I need to grab some stuff and we need to prepare to head over to the Aurora. So I'm just gonna quickly get everything I need. Uh, battery chargers. I don't need battery chargers. Um, but mostly what I think I need to do here is I gotta make sure that the Cyclops is charged. Uh, I just found two eggs while I was out getting some resources here before I went over. And I'm pretty sure that these are uh, the one guys. That's a crash egg. We'll take it. Um, yeah. But I think, yeah, these are a new egg. I'm, I think I know what they are. They're like the manatee looking guys. But I could be wrong. Um, yeah, I was originally in this cave looking for stuff. Now, boom. Boom. I don't really think I'm going to get a lot of what I need. Because there's a lot of quartz in here. These are what I mostly need. But I came in. Hey, buddy. Oh, there's two of them. No, let's not. Uh, we don't need any more crash egg. I already got two crash fish. I need the copper more. Okay. I think I got what I need now. Technically, I don't because I have to come back for some bladder fish because I would like to have some on-hand water. Okay. So, what I was planning on doing here was this. We take the build tool and hopefully, if I'm correct... We should be able to build these on the Cyclops. No? I thought that was something we could do. I might have been wrong. I think that's a feature that they've taken out of the game. Because I've seen... I swear I've seen people do this. Um, but yeah. So that... That throws a wrench in my original plan here before we head to the Aurora. So, what I need is these. You gotta be kidding me. Uh, that thing's expensive. Where'd it go? I need to pin it. Where, where, oh, where did it go? I scrolled right past it, didn't I? Uh... I'll find it. Okay, I got it marked. Um, what we need now is some rubies. Do I got any of them on this page? No. That's unfortunate. Okay, so I just got the last bit of resources here I need. So I need one more wiring kit. And then I need two advanced wiring kits. Like so. 
and voila now we got that now what I can do is I can come out here to my Cyclops and we can go and do this and what this is is essentially I saw a guy do this and well at first I thought yeah I'm gonna not use this area here at all but then I saw him do this he put his battery chargers down here in which yes that is a good idea I ain't gonna lie so what we're gonna probably do here is we're gonna have two power cells at some point so we'll probably oh yeah no we got two power cells already but I gotta get it at a certain way there so that way it doesn't so I can place it or whatever but yeah then we got the power cell chargers and I'm pretty sure I can charge things off of those. So, say, like, these batteries. Power cell. We're going to unload these power cells here. These two. And we're going to quickly, if I can, climb down this ladder again. And then, of course, now we have our power charging station. And we can throw in the two power cells. Now, those should charge up. Now, the funny part would be, watch, they're stealing power from this one. I think they are. Oh yeah, no, they're full on just jacking power from this one. Is that what ha is that what's happening right now? I need to check my power. Maybe I don't know. That's a seventy-seven percent drop by one. I don't know why I turned off the lights. I need those lights to actually see. I think, though, that should be working. Um, maybe, maybe not. Are you guys rapidly draining? Yes, so these are draining my power cells. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Um, never mind. Uh, I guess I need these in the base. Yeah, I need to put these in the base, not in here. I I don't know what, what that guy was thinking, because that was, like, 100% looking at that, it is ripping power from the power cells. Like, it is raining it rapidly. So, I know I can sustain power in here easily, because, again, I got the bioreactor, and I am planning on getting a reactor up here eventually. I just found out here recently as well that I am short one piece for a reactor. So I will be heading back down to the mushroom biome to find one. It shouldn't be hard. It, I think, yeah, I just have to head down there and then I'll find one. So we'll put these two right here. Then, doosh, doosh, doosh. Watch our power just siphon away out of the base now. Luckily, though, in terms of power production uh we might need oh my what do i need for another bioreactor i don't have any of that i'd like to make a reactor though um yeah we're just gonna let these charge up as much as we can i feel like can i not crouch oh so i i can't see this one's screen to see their percentage Unless I open it. In which, they're charging up fast. So, I'm going to let these get fully charged. The base will 100% run out of power here at some point. So. Okay. I got the power cells here right before the base lost power completely. So. Uh, yeah. Unfortunately, my plan didn't work there. I thought I could probably honestly have run those off of the Cyclops. But I guess can't i guess everything's uh power comes directly from these that might even that might include crafting as well what are you guys looking i just want to make sure you are all intact okay so these ones are the ones that are going to be low and then that's a torpedo pod i've not used that yet but anyways now let's get heading towards the aurora i almost forgot my uh radiation suit Always do that. 
Alrighty guys, so now I am all ready to get going. I got everything I need. I'm sorry it has taken 10 minutes for me to in the video to get this. I thought I was going to be all ready. I, I am now. I got water. I got everything I need. So we're going to just try and head over to the front end of the Aurora. Alrighty guys, we have made it to Life Pod 4. So now comes the part where we actually head into where we've not been before which would be just straightforward I didn't venture any further than this last time we came out this way and well yeah so there is mushroom forest below us and apparently it should lead into another area called the bulb zone but that's not where we're heading even though there is technically another life pod down there there's life pod 12 here I can probably pull them up we're in a safe place um, life pod 12 boom life pod 12 is right down there I mean we could try and head to life pod 12 here just because we're out this way but I've already made a plan of what I would like to do first and there's my plan right there so at some point we're gonna have to scan one of those and I've decided that this is probably the best time because this is one that we can see fairly easily as you may notice we got some distance here on the site but first off what I need to do is we're gonna open up a storage locker here we're gonna transfer over everything I don't need such as repair tools knife my that that um, I put my scanner in there. I need my scanner. Uh, nope, nope, nope. You go back. That's everything I need. So, just want to take one quick look. I want you guys to realize this. I am scared. Hold up. Like, I think we're close enough. We don't need to get any closer. He's heading away right now. It's the perfect time. And I got the stasis rifle ready. Hey, buddy. There he is. Come this way. I'm a nice, tasty, tasty snack for ya. I thought he would honestly be coming at me. I might have to get a little closer. His arms ahead. I, I, I have no clue what I'm going to do here. I thought he would come at me. He seems to have no interest in me. As you guys can see, I'm like panic charging. He's, he's definitely spotted me. I, I don't know if you guys can hear me breathing. I, I'm afraid to turn my back on him. Because then I feel like he will come at me. Here. I does he not have an interest in me? Okay, he's directly below us. I'm going to be brave. Bravery and stupidity are two sides of the same coin. I am not going to lie. And like that, we have scanned the Reaper Leviathan. Oh, God. Thank you, my friend. You've helped me acquire knowledge. Knowledge, my friend. That is what we were after. But... We got indigenous life forms. Uh, we also need. Oh, okay. He can attack us. We have hole damage somewhere. Where is it? I'm gonna need this. Where is it? Repair tool. Get this all out again. We need it all. 
So we have a damaged piece somewhere. It might be external hull damage. Um. Is that external? It said back in here. Unfortunately, we've taken damage. But I don't know if we're taken on water. If we're taken on water, I do not want to leave this damage. He full-on rammed us. I didn't think that the Reapers would do that. We're going to go in full reverse. We're going to get way back up here. I can't see any damage on the cameras. damage that we took now also that we're in a safe place I want to do this we're gonna look at the Reapers indigenous bio or whatever alien data uh, no geological data no where, where is it? indigenous life forms uh, fauna carnivores warper oh, herbivore Leviathan class creatures Sea, sea Treader Leviathan. Okay, so this thing classifies as a Leviathan. But then we got the Reaper. Oh, I'm just glad that we got this thing scanned. Avoid in all circumstances. Got it. I hit escape on accident. You say that. And well... Now I, gotta wait. I would like to wait for daytime. Because I don't want to do this at night. So, also, while we are here waiting... I have planted some roots and all that on the ship, so that way I can just at least, uh, you know, have that huh? stuff. And then I did notice back here behind these, there is a little bit of an area that we can walk on. So I wonder if I can put storage back in here. Um, I do also have a plan for when we do do storage. Um, down there on the wall where there's a bunch of... Uh, was it? Oh, I just broke it. Down here, underneath this section. Our storage area down here. Uh, what we can do is apparently you can line it up in a way where you can have a storage box here. And then you can reach down into these ones. Because apparently the wall storage are actually better than the actual storage that's in here. Okay, we are starting to get some daylight. I'm going to proceed to advance upon the aurora the aurora's front section here we're gonna do it this at surface level we're gonna go Reaper into silent, silent running. running hopefully this uh will keep the reaper off of me there he is i don't know if he's trying to attack i would like to get him in the camera there he is inside life form readings in this region are sparse the aurora's radioactive fallout will have devastating Here comes a hit. effects on the alien mm. ecosystem if not contained within the next 24 hours what what just happened we're like caught on something Son of a bitch. We 
even in sight of me. He's stuck. This might be a good time to get out. But saying that, he probably will get unstuck immediately. See that? Like, he's chewing. I'd hate to, like, hop out and find out that I'm, like, right in the danger zone. Let's go as forward as we can. Back up now. Cameras. I didn't think that they'd want to attack the... Cyclops. And I'd hate to lose it. Okay. I gotta be quick on this. I'm gonna do it. We're gonna go in three, two, one. I can't say that word on YouTube. Ship's structural integrity is low. Fire suppression equipment and laser cutters may be required. Got Exploration it. Exploration is conducted at your own risk. Got it. Go to crate up here. There's a lot of crabs up on this ship. And... Yeah. Caution. Scans show the digestive tracts of nearby life forms contain human tissues. Oh, so they gotten the taste for human flesh. Got it. Um. I want to get a above view of your... Shit. That thing is a bigger... Oof. Than I thought they were. Oh, fucker, get off me. Where am I supposed to go? Uh, let's see a path. Where'd the reaper go? I hate not being able to see it, honestly. But it's probably just lost interest in... My ship. It has a full-on interest in me, though. Oh, my. That thing was trying to jump out of the water to get me. Good thing I got the gun. Fire extinguisher. Med kit. Thank you. Uh, I need a fire extinguisher on the hot bar. Okay. We need to suppress as much fire as we can. Uh, okay. What is this? Propulsion cannon blueprint. I think I already have that. Are running on local reserve to new PDA data. I think I need to head into the administrative area. Integrating new PDA data. Come on. Fire, go out. Data pad. Integrating new PDA data. Pick up a battery, thank you. Gotta remember to use the scanner because there is going to be stuff in here I can scan. Terminal data. Integrating new PDA data. Prawn suit flyer. Nice. I got a poster. This not where I'm supposed to be going. Huh? Huh? Thought this is where it wanted me to go. It's blocked. 
did I miss a path out here? Damn, uh, that guy like wants me, so uh, let's go back in. I'm pretty sure I can head that way. I think our Cyclops is fine. If we lose it, I'm so sorry, guys. I thought, I thought that'd be the safe way to get here. I think we might have to jump. Or we squeeze through. Can I not crouch? Did I miss a path along here along the side? Is there more here? This is like just as administrative. And then it's one room. Seek fluid intake. Okay, I'll seek fluid intake real quick. Vital signs stabilizing. Okay. I might... We can definitely head this way, I just don't know how. It's like, it's blocked. Okay. That le legit pushed me back. We might have to like parkour it. I lost all momentum. Yeah, I don't know where we're supposed to go. What the hell? Do I head over on this side? What do I do here? Damn, this one's empty. Yeah. And then we drop in? Yeah. Ooh. That was a bad. I don't know how we get back out then. Scans of damage to the Aurora do not match any known offensive technologies. Um, there's a code for this door. I feel like I have a code here. That's not what I need. Not um. codes and clues. All right, one, four, five, four. Yes! Alright, we're in Cargo Bay 3 now. Um, a little sparky down in here. Disinfected water, thank you. Definitely taking all the waters. Okay. Integrating new in PTA here. data. We'll have to look, we'll have to look through these properly later. Crate back here. Thanks for the water. I could use a little bit. I could use another drink. Okay. Now there's water. Could a reaper get in the ship? This door needs a repair. 
We'll check out this way. Oh! Mother... Brooker, get off me! Integrating new PDA oh, data. Mark one. Thanks for the free upgrade module. These are Seamoth fragments. So is that all that was in here? Was just a Seamoth, a free Seamoth upgrade? And it's loaded with fragments. So we're not gonna head that way. What I'm gonna do is we need it now is the knife and the cutter we're gonna cut our way through this door okay now we're in it's PDA's out but integrating new PDA data I'd get PDA data Integrating new PDA data. Battery. Is that water? Disinfected water, yeah. Um, there's a path this way. What is this way? Prawn Bay. Uh, we're definitely heading towards the Prawn Bay. Dang it, need another one of these. you out. Go out. Stay out. There. Okay, now we need repair tool. We got a bunch of batteries. It's awesome. That means if any of our tools go out, we at least have a charge. Okay. This said this was the prawn bay. Picking up a Anyone fake black that? box signature. Originating on the other side of the hull breach in this room. The other side of the hull breach in this room. Okay. Uh, we want to scan prawn suits. Ooh, what are you? Storage module. Thank you. That one doesn't count because it's on fire, apparently. Okay. Prawn suit. Oh, it says four, not three. Okay. Um, anything in the water? Just a question. I figured I'd look. Yeah, she... There's nothing in here. Oh, let's try and parkour our way up to the top. Prawn suit fragment. There we go. Now we should be able to craft a prawn suit. I want to see what this takes, actually. Prawn suit, prawn suit, prawn suit. So this thing's like basically a mining rig. Uh, two plus steel ingots, arrow joe. We might be able to make one of those. Might is a big word. Uh... We could definitely could with time and, like, actually searching for the resourcage. But, like, right now I uh, might be a little short when we go back. Nutrient bars. Thank you. I needed this. Pop a med kit and we'll pop one of those. Nice. Uh, anything else in here? It's mostly water. But glad I found food. I want to clear much as this as I can. There's something new scannable in the room. I'm seeing it pop up. Okay. Just hit the three button. Don't scroll. Alright. Bar tables. I think that's what it is. Need a blueprint. Need a blueprint. 
That room. No. Back in here. Anything? We're just grabbing PDA data. Yeah, Integrating new PDA data. Cabin seven. Oh. Go away. Thank you. Um, another battery. Thank you. Integrating new PDA okay, data. Storage. There we go. And have some water. Uh, just a stash of stuff if we ever need to come back for more. Um, Medkit could be helpful. We gotta not head that way. Not head that way. It's this way. We checked this room already. Yep, I feel like cabin one. I feel like this would be the captain's quarters. Cabin one. So, um, high security captain's quarters. Two six seven nine. Two six seven nine. Let's try it. Two, six, seven, nine. Got it. Uh, apparently I don't know the code. Um. Yeah, I know the code to this one. I don't know the code to that one. Two, six, seven, nine. Okay. Okay. Here's the captain's quarters. We needed to get something from in here. Uh, there's a terminal. The Aurora picture. And thank you. Wall shelf. So I got a model of the Aurora now. And a poster. Average long range transmission delay, eight hours. Opening last recorded transmissions. This is an emergency distress call. Aurora is on collision course with planet 4546B. Sending all available environmental data. Please respond with rescue solution. Out. This is Altera HQ. Attached to this message, you should find the blueprints for an escape ship that we calculate will be capable of breaking orbit and getting you back to the nearest phase gate. Now, it's designed to use materials you can find in situ, but it's going to need one hell of a power source. Now, we'll be sure to... Aurora Long Range Communications Relay Offline. Shoot. Um, that might be bad. Okay, I figured out the code here to Cabin One. It's 1869. Now we get in here. Blue cap, nice. Uh, oh, is that a dinosaur? Nice. Is there anything else? Carry on. That's empty. Disinfected water, health kit. Oh, we got this. Integrating new PDA data. I guess I should have checked more of these storage lockers. If there's di like stuffed dinosaurs in them, I might have to run back to the Aurora to... Or not the Aurora, the Cyclops to go drop stuff off. But I think we've probably cleaned everything out that we can. Um, I was told there was a way for us to repair this, and that's what I came prepared to do today. Huh. Ow. Uh, locked room. Let's head down this way. This is the way that we came from. So then, instead of going straight on, we go this way. What is this way? Drive room. Is the drive room the reactor? 
The drive pool shielding sustained internal damage during collision. Do not attempt repair without appropriate qualifications. Okay. So we should be able to start repairs, hopefully. Cyclops engine efficiency Warning. module. Actually, Local that's awesome. At maximum tolerable level. Okay, we got to repair. Containment breach repaired. Further breaches detected. So we gotta probably get all these ones up top. I don't know how many breaks there are in this. Containment breach repaired. Further breaches detected. Nine? Okay. Okay, we can do this. Um. Sparks, sparks. Here we go. Now, I did notice something. There's a lot of bleeders in the water. So. We're going to just repair one of these at a time. Containment breach repaired. Further breaches detected. Seven. Okay, here we go. Containment breach repaired. Further breaches detected. Containment breach repaired. Oh. Further breaches detected. That's what I didn't want to have happen. Containment breach repaired. Further breaches detected. Containment breach repaired. Further breaches detected. Okay, there's still further breaches, but these two are at least repaired. Now you. Containment breach repaired. Further breaches detected. There's two more breaches. There's one right here. Get you repaired up. Containment breach repaired. Further breaches detected. There's one breach. There it is. So this here should repair the Aurora's reactor. Or at least stop the radiation. Radiation levels decreasing. Levels decreasing. Nice. I wonder if there's another uh, upgrade module over in that one, because there was one in this side. There's a hole and I can see out it. Uh-uh. Reaper could probably come right through that fucker. <laughs> We're leaving. We're leaving, people. Fire extinguisher from earlier. I ain't gonna lie, I just got a phone call and it scared me. The phone call scared me. Oh, I'm having things fall on me. Oh, jeez. That sucks. I didn't know that could happen. Okay. Now, what we need to do is head this way. And we're probably going to just leave. Because I think we've done everything that we need to do here. Good. Okay, now let's see if we can get out of here without getting attacked by the Reaper. I'd like to try and see where he's at before I even get in the water. 
Because it seems my Cyclops is completely fine. It's just... I don't know if I'm going to be completely fine. To be full honest. And is that seriously all that was in here? Just that one hole? We get the prawn suit and all that? Then we're done? I mean... Seems a little quick, you know? No offense, but there's more stuff back here. There's a legit another entrance. Oh my. I just saw it too. Oh, this is a second plugged entrance. Yeah, I don't think we are going to be able to go into that one. I don't know even if we can. Yeah, I don't think we're supposed to be able to go down in there. Now comes the scary part. Okay. Here we go. Just go, just go, just go. Go! <laughs> I was mashing the button. Okay, all system are online. Let's evacuate. We are leaving. Can I get through there? I might be able to squeeze the Cyclops through there. Go, 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 go. Get away from the Reapers. Don't fear the Reapers. Oh. Ah, it's right on me. <laughs> it's right on the aft section. This thing is munching on our engines. Yeah, bite the propeller. See what happens. Just rips your face apart, my man. Here, I'll just full, in, full reverse straight into your face now. Let's see what, how you like it. That's not doing anything. I ain't gonna lie, though. We get a very, like, up-close-and-personal photo. Is he gonna chase me? Like, the whole way? Oh, no, he's breaking off. But, yay. We got, we got what we needed from the Aurora. Uh, I think now we can craft a spaceship. Um, but there's a part of the story that is kind of fallen off, and I don't know why it's, like, not having us progress anymore. Um, and that would be... How do we disable the gun that just shot down the Degasi? It's over there somewhere. <laughs>